Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about VSAM cluster. So this is the agenda. First, we will see how to define a cluster. Then we will see the cluster parameters. Then we will see how to delete a cluster. So VSAM cluster is defined in JCL and we use IDCAMS utility to define a cluster. So IDCAMS utility is developed by IBM and it is used for access method services. So it is used primarily to define and delete VSAM datasets. So these are some of the cluster parameters. First of all, you need to define cluster. So this is the keyword under IDCAMS utility. You need to write this. Then in name, you need to write the name of the cluster. Then you need to define blocks, volumes. Then you can choose any one index, non-index, numbered and linear based on your requirement. So like index is for KSDS, non-index for ESDS. So we will cover this part in coming videos. Then you need to define record size then free space how much free space is required then control interval size then if keys are required or not then the data name and index name so here index name is not mandatory it is used only for ksds data sets now next is cluster deletion when you have defined a cluster and if you want to delete it then we use same idcams utility to delete a cluster delete command removes the entry of vsem cluster from the catalog and optionally removes the file thereby freeing up the space occupied by the object. So here if the vsem dataset is not expired then it will not be deleted. To delete such type of datasets you must need to give purge option. So this is the syntax. You need to write delete. It is in the first you need to write program as idcams and after that you need to write delete. Here you need to mention the cluster name. Then you need to mention the keyword cluster. Then these are some of the options we will see them in the hands-on part like what's the use of them so like erase no erase force no force purge no purge scratch and no scratch now let's see all these functionalities practically we will start with defining a vsem cluster this can be achieved through jcl or we can use utilities option as well so we'll open our jcl IDCAMS utility is used to create VSAM clusters. Here we have given program na name as IDCAMS. Then we have sysprint that is star, sysout that is star. So the system messages are going to spool and the output is also going to spool. Then from here we need to define our cluster. So first is the define statement. It's the syntax. Define cluster command is used to define a cluster and specify parameter attributes for cluster and its components. Here you need to give the name. And here you need to give the vsem file, uh, file name. Then we um, this is for continuation. If you miss this and if you jump to second line, you will get a, a error while submitting the JCL. Next, we have blocks. Block specifies the number of blocks assigned to the cluster. So then we have index, known index, numbered and linear. This parameter can take three values, index, known index or numbered, depending upon the type of data set we are creating. For KSDS files, that is key sequenced, we use index option. For ESDS, that is entry sequenced, we use known index. For relative record, we use RRDS. And for linear files, the linear option is required. The default value of this parameter is index. We'll discuss more about KSDS, ESDS, RRDS and LDS in coming modules. Then we have records. You need to specify the record size. Then we have buffer space, allocate the buffer space. You can give any values here, depending on your requirement. Then this keys is for index one. Suppose you have given index, then you need to mention the keys. So this parameter is defined only in KSDS. And for KSDS, we define indexed. It specifies the length and offset of the primary key from the first column and the range of value of this parameter are from 1 to 255 bytes. Then we have storage class, just like for a normal uh, sequential file, we also uh, mention here storage class. The next is RECSC. 
this is record size parameter it has two values which are average and maximum here in this scenario it is average and it is the maximum you can give any value here the average specifies the average length of the logical records in the file and the maximum denotes the maximum length of the records then we have CISC so it is known as control interval size it specifies the size of control interval then you need to specify volume and you need to give the volume disk name next is free space free space specifies the percentage of free space to reserve for the control intervals and the control areas of the data component the default value of this parameter is zero percentage so here I have given 3 and 3 this is for control interval this first 3 and the second one is for control area next we have reuse no reuse so it defines like whether you want to reuse this file so it allows reuse allows the cluster to def to be defined that may be reset to empty status without deleting and redefining them then we have read password so the value in the read password parameter specified the pi parameter specifies the password of read level then we have 4 and 2 the value of this parameter specifies the amount of time in terms of date and days for retaining the file the default value of this parameter is 0 days then we have update password this is update pw value in this parameter specify the password of update level then we have data and then we have index the data part of the cluster contains the data set name which contains the actual data of the file here you need to mention uh, mention the file name so it will be cluster dot data and then cluster dot index the cluster name you I mean to say vcm file name so here you need to mention the file names here just like I have mentioned tutorial dot point dot vcm dot data and tutorial dot point dot vcm dot index and the index part of the cluster contains the primary key and the memory pointer of the corresponding record in the data part it is defined when a key sequence cluster is used so keys and index they are only for KSDS so this is how we define a cluster now we'll see how to delete a cluster this is the JCL to delete the cluster we use the same ID cams utility to delete a cluster delete command removes the entry of vsem cluster from the catalog and optionally removes the file thereby freeing up the space occupied by the object in the vsem dataset if it is not expired then it will not be deleted to delete such type of data sets we use purge option so here you need to mention delete then the, uh, the cluster name data set name then you write need to write cluster then these are the options which you can choose so erase option is specified to override the erase attribute specified for the object in the catalog no erase option is taken by default then we have force and no force force option is specified to delete the space and user catalog even if they are not empty no force option is taken by default then we have purge we have discussed this earlier purge option is used to delete the vsem dataset if dataset has not expired and no purge option is taken by default similarly we have scratch and no scratch scratch option is specified to remove the associated entry for the object from the volume table of contents it is mainly used for known vsem datasets like gdgs no scratch option is taken by default so this is how we delete a cluster so, so this is 
how we define and delete a cluster using JCL. Suppose you want to do it from ISPF utility. So then go to utilities 3, then 2 dataset, allocate, deallocate this one, same option where we allocated PAS sequential file. Here you need to mention the vSAM utility name. So just write V and here you need to give the cluster name. Hit, hit enter. Now I have selected define. You can select define, delete information that is list cat, list cat. So on the right hand side you need to select the option what, like what do you want to define. You want to define alias, uh, alternate index, cluster, GDG, non vSAM. So here we want to define a cluster. So we'll select three and we'll enter. So here you need to mention all the parameters which we have discussed like control interval size, buffer space, volume, data class, management class, storage class. So these erase, no erase. So they are for uh, re reuse, no reuse, index, non index. So you need to specify all the parameters and you need to hit enter. So by default, it will create one JCL based on the parameters you have given on the previous screen. Like we have given cylinders, five, five keys, 50 owner d known index and this will create the data name automatically so to execute this you need to write e x e c and press enter so once you hit enter your vsem cluster will be created so this is how we use utilities to create the vsem cluster we will be creating the actual cluster for ksds in the next video and there we will delete the cluster as well so in this video we have just covered the syntax and the options to define and delete a cluster.